There is a cooperative spirit in Utkiagvik between those who hunt or fish for a living and those who create art. My grandsons have, um, are hunters now. Uh, they bring me well, caribou, whatever they catch, you know, bless their hearts. It's all um, part of the respect for the elders that, that really brings our community together, especially respect. Traditionally, the Inupiat people used all parts of the whale, and though baleen, which whales used to filter their food, is no longer used for corsets, local carvers found a way to make beautiful objects from it. I cut the baleen here, there, there, and there, and this is a piece from, from one of the bigger from, from one of the bigger pieces of baleen. After that, I I polish it all by hand and then I, I draw on it. So, so this is a bowhead whale here. This is a whaling ship. This is the water that there's bubbles right there from the, from the whale's uh, spout. In a spacious workshop at the Inupiat Heritage Center, carvers polish baleen, make engravings on whale vertebra, craft intricate miniature umiak boats, and decorate ulus, traditional all-purpose Eskimo knives with handles made of walrus ivory or staghorn. James Potkatak used to work at a construction company. Today he is retired and makes jewelry from ivory. I specialize in polar bears and owls, you know, snowy owl. Whatever comes to mind, I think, you know, I, I consider myself an artist, so, you know, an artist's mind is, um, I was looking for something to uh, depict or something like that. I love it. And just like that, as rock music plays in his headphones, Potkatak creates something unique, combining local traditions and ancient mastery. For locals, rare animals are a part of everyday life, at times an unpleasant part. Country Every elder has his or her own bear story. However, more often than not, an encounter with a bear ends badly for the bear. For Roy Nagiak, hunting polar bears is a family tradition, and a bear teeth necklace is a never-present reminder of those traditions. Nagiak believes, and so do other Inupiat hunters, that an animal gives itself to the hunter. So we already have that spiritual connection of how we were made. So, with that in mind, the animals know what we need sometimes. If we treat each other with respect and not try to kill everything off and just get what you want to eat, then it's the purpose of the creation of living together is there and nobody can stop it. And they live together as they have for thousands of years, Inupiat and the animals that give locals all they had. For Natasha Mosgavaya in Barrow, Alaska, I'm Anna Rice, BOA News.